Hello, everybody. Thank you for being a fellow stock market jobber. Just want to spend a few minutes on gold here because gold has been in the news lately because it's actually finally making a big move higher that people have been waiting for. Um, so we're going to start out here with King Tut. I don't know if you know who King Tut was. You probably have never met him because he's been dead for like 3,000 years. But look at this cool mask they buried him in, right? It's got the little eagle up here. I think that's an eagle or maybe a snake. But this is all gold, right? So back then, people loved gold. Gold has been in fashion or in vogue for a long time. I'm not going to give any recommendation. Well, actually, I will give a recommendation. I'm not going to tell you to buy or sell. But if you think gold is going higher, there is a better way to invest in it than just by buying a bar of gold and have it in your closet or in your house somewhere. You know, if your neighbors find out they don't like you, maybe one night they break into your house. All right. Well, hopefully you live in a nice neighborhood. But this is gold here okay this is the future gold trades as futures but let's not freak out because i'm going to show you how you can trade an etf to profit from gold all right just like you buy a regular stock you don't need to buy a bar of gold and have it in your house you can buy an etf just like it's a stock and you have it in your brokerage account um so we can see gold has made this move higher but it's overbought okay overbought means it's trading above what would be its typical or usual trading range look at the other times it's been overbought over the last year one was right here before we had a little bit of a sell-off one was up here sell-off so it's overbought people have been buying it aggressively another thing i want you to see here is the importance of these price levels notice how a level that was support became resistance now why does this happen how could a level that was support you know turn into resistance and the reason is because of buyer's remorse. People buy and the price goes lower. A lot of the people who bought regret doing so and they tell themselves, I made a mistake. I'm going to get out, but I don't want to lose money. So I'm just going to wait for it to get back to my price and I'm going to sell it. So I get out of break even. So buyer's remorse converts support into resistance. And you can see it was resistance here. But anyway, that's not what I want to talk about tonight. You can find that on a bunch of our other, our other lessons. Now, if you don't want to actually take physical hold of gold and have it in your house, here's something you could check out. This is an ETF. It's an exchange traded fund. It's the Spider Gold Shares. Spider means Standard & Poor's Depository Receipts. Basically, um, is it Standard & Poor's or State Street? Well, whatever. Basically, this is just an ETF and it tracks the price of gold so it's much easier than like you know going out buying gold having it in your house if gold goes up this is going to follow we see it broke resistance you could say the same dynamic here support became resistance so there are easy ways to invest in commodities you don't need to be a futures trader check out our site stockmarketjobber.com and i spent a lot of time talking about how investors can gain exposure to various parts of the market so we see support turns into resistance down here we see support knowing where these levels are is important now we're a little bit overbought if i was going to buy gold i'd probably wait a few days i probably think it's going to come in but if i thought gold was going up you know what i wouldn't even buy this i would buy the next etf we look at this is a gold miners etf okay the Van Eyck Gold Miners ETF. Now, here's the thing. If you are right and you think gold is going to go up, and it does, this miner ETF will most likely go up by more. In other words, if gold goes up by 3%, this could go up by 10%. What this is is a basket of a bunch of different stocks of companies that are gold miners. Now, investing in a particular gold miner is a little bit on the risky side because a lot of these gold miners are just these small little companies down in South America that they might have one mine. Um, someone I know who I'm friends with is an expert. Uh, their whole life is dedicated to analyzing gold. And that's what he was saying. You know, he, go, he goes down to South America about, one, about twice a year and 
you know, there's all these little gold miners, right? Could just be a one mine or this or that. And if the mine ends up, uh, you know, runs out or if the, the workers go on a strike, it's not going to be pretty. But that's why we like ETFs sometimes, because we get the diversification. So if you think gold is going to go up and you're right, this would be a better place to have your money than just in gold itself because it will go up by more. All right. I think that's a pretty simple message. There's a couple of things I want to point out here, though, before I go, because I'm all about levels. Notice how support became resistance. Buyer's remorse. There are investors who bought here that when the market went lower, they regret doing so, and they decide to sell at break even to get out. Support can become resistance because of buyer's remorse. What do we have here? Resistance became support. This is the opposite. Resistance can become support because of seller's remorse. Investors sold when the market goes higher. A lot of them regret doing so, and they tell themselves, gee, I'm going to buy my shares back, but I'm only going to do so if I can get them for the same price I sold them at. So we have remorseful sellers placing buy orders at the level they sold at. So... Just to review before I go, buyer's remorse can turn support into resistance. We have remorseful buyers trying to sell to get out of break even. Seller's remorse can turn resistance into support. We have remorseful sellers trying to buy their shares back at the same price they sold at. So check out the site. Well, actually, at this point, you're on the site, but it's an important dynamic, right? When we look at a chart, we're looking at investment psychology. All right, everybody. Happy trading. I will talk to you soon.